Hello everyone, this is Rakesh Dhawan from Palco eMotors. Today I want to talk about torque sensor calibration. And this is the software we're going to be talking about. There are various kinds of dropouts available uh, for frames. 90% of the dropouts we have are actually the, the vertical kind, which is in the middle. We also have horizontal dropouts which are used um, at, uh, in certain bicycles and trikes. And there are also bicycles which use Incline dropouts. Um, so, but the majority of the dropouts used in the bike industry are the vertical dropouts. So, we are going to focus on how to calibrate the torque sensor for vertical dropouts. Um, in our software, eBike Lab 1.5.7, there are five parameters which we need to know, which are important for the first calibration. All right, so. Uh, they are torque sensor raw value, torque sensor final value, flip axle, torque multiplier, and dropout offset. So these are the five parameters which we want to focus on during the calibration process. This is the screen which actually shows you where the torque sensor raw value and the, and the torque sensor final values are. And you can see this is the motor parameters tab. And the motor parameters tab has got these two values. And if you go to the next one, this is your motor control tab. And the motor control tab allows you to access to flip axle command, drop an offset, and torque multiplier. So the first step in calibrating is we want to do a standstill calibration. What is a standstill calibration? Standstill calibration is that I can actually sit on the bike with my feet on the ground and, and find out what is my torque sensor raw value. So this is sitting on the bike and see the change in the torque sensor raw value. So this essentially is the process of standstill calibration. We find out, did the value go down, did the value go up, or did it stay the same? What were the observations during that process? If the value goes down, for example, let's say the value was 500 and it went to 492, uh, most likely the motor is installed as per the factory default. If on this chain, let's say this A, if the value goes up, most likely the motor is not installed as per the factory default. And this is okay because we can fix this using the flip axle command. Now, throttle calibration. The throttle calibration, the process of throttle calibration is that we spin the wheel and we observe raw value and the torque sensor final value. And let's assume that this value is V, the torque sensor final value is V. So we add these two values. First, standstill calibration value is A, the throttle cap V, which is two, A plus B is 12. We have a 15% headroom on top of it. We count and we make the dropout offset value to be 15. Command needs to be one. If your value, raw torque sensor value, was going up. It needs to be zero if the raw torque sensor value was going down. So there are some exceptions to this rule which we can discuss. They are mainly pertaining to inclined dropouts. We'll discuss in the next sessions. Right? So the torque multiplier, what does it do? It essentially amplifies your effort. So if you have a torque multiplier of five, it will amplify your, your effort five times. If it is 10, it amplifies your value 10 times. Higher the number, higher the amplification. That is all we have to do for torque sensor calibration. Thank you.